Nigeria is an emerging market. There are not many countries that have over 150 million people with a GDP growth rate of over 5% in the world, and Nigeria is one of them. This is one of the fastest growing economies in, in Africa. When you compare Nigeria 1980s and the 2000-2010, a lot of changes have come. There is a lot of opportunities that we tap into, so it's a good market for GE. In 2009, General Electric uh, signed a country-to-company -company agreement with the federal government in Nigeria. Uh, as a part of that agreement was the contract for GE transportation to provide 25 locomotive trains. GE has been able to provide a reliable uh, locomotive. There are no failures, unlike we used to have, and uh, based on that reliability, the passengers now have fit. I think it's a great leap forward. Over the last three years, we've been very involved in power generation on behalf of the Nigerian government, and we shipped just over 30 units of our large frame nine GE turbines. There is prospects in this country for investors, and uh, now we have uh, close to 11 power plants uh, of uh, GE uh, machines. We are anticipating by 2013, we have gotten to 15,000 megawatts. So if we go in that race, by 2020 we should be able to hit up to 40,000 megawatts. Nigeria has got a lot of scope to develop the healthcare scenario. The government is doing a good job. They are very much keen in developing a lot of university hospitals, training centers. The future of healthcare is going to be very bright. The waiting time for diagnosis to be made has reduced drastically, unlike what it was before. So I would say problems are being solved. And who is behind it is General Electric. Today, Eric Air has a fleet of about 25 aircraft. So it has established itself as the largest carrier in West Africa and Central Africa. It's also rated as the fastest growing airline in Africa today. We use the G engines for almost all our aircraft. We've had a very good relationship with General Electric and then as well as GCAS. We've also enjoyed a very good relationship and after-sales support, and uh, we think that gives, um, that gives GE the edge. Shell's been in Nigeria over 40 years. Uh, Shell is committed to being in Nigeria long-term, and we know that GE is going to be a critical part of that, uh, that long-term relationship. We feel that with our commitment and with GE's commitment, both on the subsea uh, expertise area and also in the Nigerian content area where they're committed to training people, I think that's going to be a huge success story as part of the 2020 story, showing how things can be done in Nigeria just as they can be done anywhere else in the UK or the US. We as GE are here to stay in the country. Uh, we intend to grow our operations and also grow the operations of, the, of our customer, which is the federal government and the Nigerian Railway Corporation. GE is our partner because they don't believe in the just selling and let go. For the six years that I've been here, I can honestly say there's never been a situation where GE has not responded to our need and allowed us to keep our business running. We have contributed very significantly to economic growth in Nigeria. A lot of that has to do with the support that we had from G. I was lucky to go through the deep water boom in the Gulf of Mexico in the early 90s, and right now Nigeria is going through that same deep water boom. And I tell all my young Nigerian staff, you guys are lucky to be in Nigeria in the position of your career right now because you have a bright future and it's only getting larger and bigger in Nigeria.